also known as Shaka Kasenzangahona, was a powerful and influential monarch who reigned over the Zulu kingdom in present day South Africa during the early 19th century. He is widely regarded as one of the most significant figures in Zulu history, having transformed the Zulu tribe into a formidable military force and left a lasting impact on the region. Shaka was born around 1787, near present-day Melomon, in what is now the province of KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. He was the son of Senzangahona, the chief of the Zulu clan, and Nandi, a woman of the Lengani clan. Nandi was not married to the Senzangahona, which made Shaka an illegitimate child and subjected him to a ridicule and mistreatment during his early years. As a child, Shaka faced numerous challenges and hardship, including being abandoned by his father's clan and living in a relative poverty. However, he displayed remarkable physical strength, intelligence, and leadership quality from an early age. This trait caught the attention of his father, who eventually welcomed him back into the tribe. In his late teens, Shaka joined the warrior regiment of the Zulu and quickly distinguished himself as a skilled warrior and military strategist. He rose through the rank and gained the respect and loyalty of his fellow warriors. In 1816, following his father's death, Shaka assumed leadership of the Zulu clan and set out to build a powerful Zulu kingdom. Shaka implemented a series of a military reform and innovation that revolutionized the Zulu military and transformed them into a formidable force. He introduced a new shooter, stabbing spear, called the Iklua, which provided his warrior with a close quarter advantage over enemies armed with a longer spear. He also developed new battle formation, tactics and training methods emphasizing speed, agility, and discipline. This innovation gave the Zulu warrior a significant advantage on the battlefield. Under Shaka's leadership, the Zulu kingdom rapidly expanded into territory through a series of a military campaign, conquest, assimilation of neighboring clans. Shaka's forces conquered and observed numerous tribes extending the Zulu kingdom influence and power across large part of present-day South Africa. Shaka military success were combined by strict social and cultural reform within Zulu society. He imposed a centralized system of governance, regionalized the social structure and introduced new military and social custom. Shaka reforms were aimed at strengthening the Zulu nation and eliminate an internal division that could weaken its military might. However, Shaka's rules was not without controversy. His strict discipline, harsh punishment and brutal method of warfare earned him both admiration and fear among his subjects. He established a cult of personality around himself, demanding absolute loyalty and obedience. Dissent and disobedience were severely punished, sometimes resulting in a mass excursion. Shaka's reign came to an abrupt end in 1828, following the assassination of his mother Nandi. Shaka's behavior became increasingly erratic and tyrannical. His rule became marked by paranoia and brutal purge of suspected enemies. In September 1828, Shaka was assassinated by his half-brother, Dingane, and Mlangana, who fear for his own life. Despite his attempted demise, Shaka's legacy continued to influence the Zulu people and the history of Southern Africa. The Zulu kingdom remained. Share your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash the like button. Till next time, God bless Africa. One love. Peace. Come along, come along. You, you, you. Hello, hello.
Hello, my baby. Hello, my baby. Hello, hello, my baby. 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 Hello, my baby.